complete silence from you. Will be. <laughs> I wonder what the picks are going to be. Oh, wait, no. Oh, right, and here we are casting this 1v1 invoker versus invoker so what game. What language is yours, uh, Phil? Um, language? Yeah. Um, I set mine to English, mine's but my the, country. Mine's the Korean screen. My country is Dick Butt. Okay, so there's Daniel on his signature invoker. And. Yeah. Oh, Fine! Out of the Radiant Con. From. I'm just gonna go because. Wherever the hell always from England. Can you. An uh, obsessed uh, man uh, with obses uh, obsessive uh, compulsive disorder over cats. Uh, uh, it's Seru. Can you. Sh can Ol you shout at fucking Oliver over the in game chat that he has the fucking ball yeah. courier? Uh, Rob's saying that he hates you because you have the Why do you have Boar Courier? You awful human. He can't read it if it's in thingy chat. Presenter chat thing. 30 yeah, seconds to enough time to make a cup of tea. Okay, and there goes Daniel and... I proceed. Oh, and here we go. This is some intense shit. Uh, what's the time showing on you? Uh, 13 seconds. 11. 10, oh, so it's 2 seconds nine. delay though. Yeah. Short delay for broadcasters at least. Yeah, very tiny delay. The very yep. tiny. Here we see Carl Volker able to secure the top prunes. You can like, give me tips and tell me yeah. if you got the bottom one. Uh, I'm not gonna say that. Oh, motherfucker. You might have got the bottom one. Time. Might be blocking. He got the bottom one, by the way. You can't do that, Phil. Well, he didn't. Okay, now. Okay, from that, Daniel got his first level. If we look at the SP graph, it's way in his favour. Mm-hmm. But if you uh, look at the gold last... graph, it's gold graph in his favour. Being... Oh, yeah, in, in the diet. You get favor. gold from the bounty room as well. Yes. It's worth the time spent out of lane. Here we see experience and gold swinging towards the diet. Both going for the level one invo uh, exhort. <laughs> Invoker. Level two, level two um, invoke. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll go off. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so now they've level, he's leveled Sunstrike, and Daniel has also levels. It looks like we're going max exhort here. It is a very popular uh, build, we I believe. Have three GD branches, a tango, a salve. And a fucking whatever it's called, circlet. And Daniel's gone for a small build of a tango and a null talisman. Mm hmm. It's, I suspect uh, quite... Daniel's going to be rushing Midas. It's Daniel. Yes, as as Daniel does. Those two uh, bounty runes will definitely help him in that. Especially the last hits he we're able to get here. Off. Yes, we can see uh, XP, 100 in Daniel's favour still. And, o and over 200 in Carl Volker's favour. Impressive showing from him so far. Here we see the 53 plus 21 damage versus the 53 plus 18. Oh. That's the uh, advantage of Null Tower. Null Tower is going to get for you. That, it's got oh, no, it's three, 52 it's got plus three more damage. Oh, nailing the Sun Strike there. He's got plenty of mana still. Mm hmm. Careful. Better be careful. Another Sun Strike could be coming out very soon. Oh, we see the quest coming out here yeah, from. He's never gonna hit a sun strike. I'm not playing. <laughs> it's another one v one versus with Ollie versus. Oh damn it! I, I missed the, the last one. Um, Ollie won the last one. The first one. This is this is another one that's just going on. How far behind them are you? It were broad. I'm a broadcaster, so oh, like. So you're in time. Yeah, so like a second off. Here we see a, uh, Paul Volker, just slightly lower on health, but. The Wex here coming out from uh, the Evoker. Quit revealing skill builds. Uh, no one's on call. You're giving him Oh, they don't have call. Yeah, they're ah. both off call. Oh, is Ollie going off call? Ollie and Daniel are off. Okay, and the runes are up. We have a bunch yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Illusion bot. They're going full serious mode. 
Oh yeah, that's a bounty top illusion spot, like you say. Exactly what I just said. Just... Yep, yep. Well, like that's why I said, like you say. Uh, let's have a look Ooh, at the experience we... graph. Still roughly where it was before. Gold graph now almost three hundred in Carl Volker's favour. Daniel is coming close Ooh. to his Midas recipe. Mhm. Mm just four hundred off that. And in Daniel terms, that's not very far. We saw an EMP getting uh, a good EMP hit before. It wasn't a. Does it scale? Oh, it scales, yeah. I wasn't sure. I can't remember. Oh, 100 mana burn there. 50 damage dealt. Mm. The, um, the I BK. Think it's it's not worth the mana at this point because he's Ooh. losing more mana than he's making Daniel lose. The Sunstrike coming out there. Press the Sunstrike. Oh, another EMP coming out. Like you say, it's. Oh, that one didn't even hit. It's gonna be a big burn to his mana. And without the null talisman for mana. What's uh, Invoker going for? Looking. Here we Oliver. see the uh, three could, X. Could Oliver be going a Midas as well? Oh, possibly. We see just a little bit more gold here, swinging in favour of Carl Volker. Yep, yeah, but yet still no rune pickup. They've switched. So now we have the bounty Freak. still top and a regen, regen bot. Mm. Missing out on the last hit there, but getting a deny in return. Last play by Daniel. Maybe Oliver was out of range for XP for that anyway. Here we see perhaps Carl Volker being smarter in the early game, using all, using his mana efficiently. Only using one sun strike as opposed to the the uh Ceramile. Using... Well, he does have slightly more mana by 40 because of the Null Talisman build. Mm. But we can see a lot of mana's already been used up on those Wexes that aren't always hitting home. But yet they're both constantly staying cross. Exalt, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, both, both keeping those, um... <laughs> All I can think of is that bit in Dota Cinema. Like, um... Not Dota Cinema, um... Don't report her, where it's like invokers and he just goes Cross, exhaust, exhaust, wex, wex, exhaust, wexy, oddy, invoke. Basically, how invokers play a talk. Oh, that sick tango play from Oliver. Oh, yeah. It, very. Uh, it's swinging. Daniel, like, probably. Oh, we're about to see the runes change. And at top, Ooh. we have a bounty Ooh. again, bottom being an invis. It looks yeah. like. Hmm? Hmm. I think You're Oliver talking. might be going for a Yules. That's probably. Hmm, perhaps a Yules. Whereas Daniel is very close to it, about 200 gold off <laughs> his Midas. Hmm. This may give <laughs> Oliver the oh. early game advantage. He's perhaps looking for. Oh. He's I see find a staff of Int. In I see a staff of Int coming to Daniel. He's he's not. Oh, I see an oblivion staff coming early from this. This this is going to be a rush. It's going to be a Yules from. It's going Agonims. Nah, that's a that's a Yules coming out from. No, I'm talking about Daniel. From Carl Volker. Yeah, so bro, that's a Yules coming out from Carl Volker, and seru has got the oblivion staff. He'll probably be going for a. a... Which means the match depends on whether Daniel has. To play. Oh, that pro meatball. Mm. Yes, this could, could, could like, like uh, my co-caster, no face here says, it could come down to some presence of mind of uh, da uh, Daniel to just make sure he doesn't get caught in that orchid by, by himself and just yields himself out of it and then use the tornado setup perhaps Denied. for his meatball combos. We saw the meatball earlier not quite hitting home from from Mr. Ollie. Well, like you could just be using his harass to present last hit. Okay, I think Oliver did see him go for the rune. Oh, no, it's going to con contest it anyway. Here we see an alacrity coming out. A lot of damage I on that invoker early. The bottom in this room. Mm, oh. Which has now changed to a regeneration. Would be oh, very helpful be very for Ollie to find at the moment. Yeah. 
Yes. Mm, <laughs> Big damage coming out there from from the invoker. From the Oli. From the invoker. Yeah, from Oli Volker. That alacrity really increasing his attack damage and speed. Quite impressive actually the amount of damage you can do. Simply by right clicks. We're seeing a all-round build focusing on Exhort here. A bit of each, but focusing on Exhort from the Daniil. And here we see just no, no Quas coming out from Ollie. Not a fan of the Quas. We can see it's a Quas Exhort from, from Daniel, but choosing to take the one point in the Wex, simply for the helpful spells, perhaps. Imagine here's, that. The Invoker going the for spells. The, the Quas Orb is being activated. And uh, Daniel just uh, freezing himself up a bit. Okay, Truly, okay. the mind of that man's a mystery. Alacrity in P, and we have. Do, 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 if we can click on it. Sunstrike. Sun hmm. Oh. We see a. Uh, Boots yep, coming out. Here's the Yules for Daniel. The, yes, that's the Yules for Daniel. Perhaps this orchid being slow, slowed down by the boots. Possibly. On, on Ollie. It, it, it could really affect the way the game goes. That four, four, 450 gold back. It's not going to be... Oh. He wants this Yules early. He's got his Yules. And here we see his terrible internet. So he has to... Spend a few seconds walking back until he realizes he's definitely got his jewels. Here we go, he's ready to play. Putting it on his uh, fourth slot there, I believe. Fourth inventory slot. Mystery as to what that button is. Here we see the alacrity coming out in a range creep. Big play there from Oli. Big, big play. Perhaps this jewel is just to spam sun strikes more. Oh, he tried to come in from Oli, perhaps. Unless a very late Midas. And I'm timing on the Midas, perhaps. So, so who do you think is going to win this particular matchup? Uh, from history, I think it's going to be Oliver, but I have hope. <laughs> I personally think Daniel can come away with this. As we see, the EMPs just aren't doing enough. It, it, it seems like a shaky start here. And with that... Was that Yule Scepter? It's... Oh, the deny coming out there from Oli, though. See, that's the big kind of combo that's going to get, it's going to get him. Uh, He's very low already. It will perhaps scrape out of that one with his life. Just to update you on the rooms, we've got a haste room bot and a bounty room top. Perhaps diving. Oh, cancelling the salve. Excellent play. Incredible play there. Good play coming out with the AMP as well, just to stop AMP. the kill. AMP, yeah. Oh, perhaps we'll see a Sunstrike play. An Evoke Sunstrike. He's going to try and do it. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oh, what a play! What a beautiful play! Incredible Sunstrike here. Coming out for the first blood. Here we see the Daniel Invoker going for the rune, not realising that runes are about to respawn. Nope, that was a bit silly. Right, Missing out on the bounty. bounty rune. Every single bounty, uh, the top rune's always been bounty. Yeah, that's weird. Now, what could Carvo could be going for in this situation? Uh, the, yeah, the I think he could be going Aghanims. Hmm, Aghanims might be very helpful. I'm Perhaps an Aghanims really refresher. Oh, oops. Oh. He's got the, uh... He's got an illusion room, but... Oh, wait, no, he's gone into Quas now, so he gets all that regen. Mm-hmm. I was going to say he might have to go back because of that, but no. It's very... It's a good amount of regen. And... Oliver has gone treads. I did too. It will see two quas and an exhort just to help him out with the last bit in there. That EMP just going to be off the mark. Yeah, he's wasting a lot of mana on those, but he has a lot more health right now. 
1,005 to... Oh, never mind. 753, but... Danger zone! Hey, hey Lana. Hey Lana. Ah. Uh, oh, good. Oh, we're gonna see some illusion plays. Oh. Oh, he wasted the sun strike on the illusion that's not oh, real. And the EMP! <laughs> oh, that's gonna sting! Use two big spells right there. Just on an illusion. Fortunately, that high mana. Fortunately for Ollie, I guess. Oh, 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 alacrity plays. Alacrity plays. Got alacrity on the range creep. Surely you should do that if he wants to push on the range creep of the next wave so he can have it straight away. I don't know. Yeah, it's two big spells wasted there, but the oblivion staff keeping his mana regen. Acceptable. Oh, here we see. He's gonna get it. He's gotta get it. Oh, and he gets the last hit on the siege creep. Excellent play there from that siege creep. <laughs> Excellent play from the siege creep. <laughs> yeah, beautiful that's, look. That's beautiful cool. play dying there. Here we see uh, an illusion rune top lane. And the bounty rune bottom lane. I think what Oliver might just be doing is wait, biding his time until he can get that oblivion. Yeah, there, there, there. Fucking orchid. Before you get too far in. The orchid is going to be very Yule helpful. Something in this game. Here for Daniel. What are the Yules? The Yules. He's going Agnum. Faith boots. No, he's just going. Oh! Observe awards. Oh! oh big print. play. Big, big play. Oh, cold snap. Oh, oh that ball. meteor is just going to be off the mark. The cold snap not quite doing enough. Oh. Oh, the whiff sun strike. They've really been off today. That invis rune could be a kill on either side right now. Daniel choosing to go for the ogre club over anything else for the extra health it gives him. Mm hmm. He it's going to be very to helpful in surviving the. Quick burst of Invoker, and being able to use his quick burst as Invoker. Cold snap, sun strike. Oh, good last that, bit coming out there. That won't be much damage to him, honestly. Oh, oh the ghost walk. Just some appearance could be important. Daniel still has not placed his runes. Oliver probably sees that he has ru runes. Wards. Wards. Big last hits coming out here. Oh, what a play there. Go grab still firmly in the dire. Here we can see our first double damage That's rune of the did. game. Fun bit of 20 trivia for you. First double damage rune of the game and bounty rune being top once again. Sorry, I went over you, co caster Roberto. Please continue. No, I am the Korean stream. Oh, yeah. You're... What are you doing? You need to sound more kind of crazy and angry. No. A lot of Koreans speak English. Right, but you need an accent at least. No. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever met an actual Korean? This is what they sound like. Well, I'm a, I'm the dick butt stream of the butt dick country. Country of butt dicks. Butt dickians are very proud of their heritage of butt dicks. Here we can see just slightly more base damage on the Carl Voka, but a little bit more in terms of Added damage. Yeah, but he also has about a hundred more health. Very vocal, and yes, roughly a hundred more health on on the Daniel. And let's and see which bit of his Hagenims he'll go for next. Oh, there goes the Oh, nailed by a sun strike. But of course, the Quas going to be able to help. Oh, loading him out here so he can't get the farm. This is a very smart play here. Although if he doesn't get those denies, then it's not quite as worth it. He's burning a lot of mana. If you look at his mana now, he's only got enough for another one of those combos. Oh, there's the Yule's Meatball combo. Oh, oh so yep. Big Yule's Meatball combo. Oh, but a Deafening Blast coming out as well. Oh, one more. Come on. Oh. Oh, is he going to try and do this? Oh, he doesn't oh. have the mana for the Sun Strike yet. And all of us being oh, no, he doesn't a have cheeky beggar and going in odd direction. Oh, that's very clever there. That is very clever there. 
Daniel has five seconds on his scissor strike. He's going to be able to I guess exactly where like he is. There. Like just before they go into the thing. Willy? 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 No. Everyone loves the willies. Oh no, the sun strikes off the mark. Bit late. He still had to make him go back. It was still a very good trade. Mm. And to get the 9 on the siege creep there, making sure no, no XP goes or even the gold for the well, siege creep. He can really it anyway. Unless he's sunstroke. No, you can't even do that because it's magic immune. Oh, very close to this orchid here. Daniel gonna go for the fucking thingy room at the top. Well that one. Jeans. Thing I see is. Whoever engages first loses. What? Although, actually, no, if Daniel engages, he can probably kill um, Oliver, but because of Oliver's bill, if he engages, Daniel just uses out of all the damage. Yeah, maybe if. Uh... Daniel quickly switches into like a cold snap. Daniel does have enough for his next part of his, what I suspect to be, agonims. Hmm. Oh, that there almost going to be an example of why you don't stand still, but not not hitting. Yeah. If Daniel can just get some. Small damage off before he starts his combo. Mm, just, just those forge spirits are going to be very helpful, especially oh, now he's got two of them. Oh, some curious snipe! Oh no! No, we can't see it. Oh wait, no, we could maybe. We might have been able to. It was moving in the direction definitely, and then he saw. I think it's like the line there. But... This uh, oh, and the courier of the game award goes to Daniel, of course. Here we just check on the room. Oh. No, the AMP didn't hit. Checking the runes, we've got a bounty rune top and double damage rune bot. Oh, a tornado going out, but nothing really happening. Yeah, he seems to be harassing with that tornado crap. But Daniel has put a ward up here, so he can see where Oliver is going. And he must still have the other ward in his inventory, yep. What will he do with this ward? That is the question. That's the ward. Maybe he just uses it to replace the one he already has. Oh. So if he can see... Oliver at all times anyway. There's no point in him assuming that neither runes up. And here we see the Orchid coming out. Perhaps looking to get some damage in. But like I say, is he going to be able to get the combo off? Because the Cold Snap isn't going to help. He's just going to be able to yule out of it all. He needs a solid stun and he doesn't have it. Perhaps an Abyssal Blade might be helpful in this game. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to farm that up. <laughs> Maybe a BKB. Denied. BKB would be. I don't know. I think could BKB. Daniel be going BKB. He could be. He still hasn't bought anything. Yet he has two. No, he's could play there. Make sure he gets out of the yules. Perhaps not needed. Perhaps he could have got out of that. Yeah, but get, get out of that yules. Yeah. Oh, using the meatball to push the wave. Yeah, that's just a bit over the top, but. I don't know, it seems to be working. Maybe he's going for the first tower instead. It's mid only. Yeah, but isn't it first two kills no, for the first tower? No, it's not the 1v1 solo mid mode. It's oh, okay. Mode. Are you sure you didn't make this lobby? Oh, it might be. I forget. Remember, it's Oliver's lobby. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Shoot Shadow Shaman set. <laughs> Excellent casting. Well, nothing was going on. Nothing ever happens. Tornado hit. No, nothing gonna gonna happen from that. Let's see the duration of the five second silence, and two point five seconds of that can be spent in the air. So perhaps when that silence is going to be wasted. Don't you think, Roberto? A heavy chunk of damage coming out there. Yep, he is going BKB. Oh. Oh, that BKB is going to be He's good. so close to getting it right now. That is why he went for his Oak Club first, because Invoke is also known for going his like Agnum Scepter. Inventory with that interrupting you talking. Oh, Bit that's... Of a... With Sunstrike. Sunstrikes haven't been on the mark. Other than Daniel's one earlier this game. 
Mm. I hate you. Dire structures have just been fortified, apparently. From Stop what I've it. Heard. Oh, there's the silence. Oh. Ooh. No, he's, he's not going to travel down. He knows he's dead if he does. Yeah, a defensive he's, he's ghost just... walking. But he's just shown his... Orchid. But it's up in four seconds, so... He's going to go for it again. He's just... Poking at the top, you know. And that was a cold snap on the range creep. Got to slow them range creeps. Oh, Daniel's going for it. He's oh, that's a glass. beautiful combination. He's got him. Oh. What a play. Impressive. Impressive showing coming out here. Yep, uh, Bounty Rune is top again. Let's see if Bounty Rune is top again. Bounty, Bounty Rune, Rune is top again. Top again. Perhaps that re uh, regeneration rune bottom might help with the mana regeneration that's going to grant. And that, I think this might be one for the first hour. Because he's got 30 seconds, I don't... Perhaps Forge Spirits with Alacrity might help. He has buyback. He's got Forge Spirits there. He's, I think he'll wait. Yeah, he's just... By this time, he knows... Daniel's just rewarded. He hasn't got the fortification. But he thinks he'll be alright. Might. Radiance bit late to buy back now, though. Attack. Might Ooh, be I it. I think this first tower's going down. Yeah, That's the first tower. tower has Perhaps it's mid only. Possibly. And the BKB is out. What will he go next? BKB. A Black King Bar, a Noble Talisman, a Yule Scepter of Divinity, and Boots of Speed. And a Point Booster. Perhaps this is the Ags. On the other side, we have the Vitality Booster. The Iron Branch. An important item, as is the Circle. Just Big items coming out. Grand lead in XP, oh. and just overall, just under 2,000 gold. And of course, the Power Treads in the Orchid Mill Evidence. Daniel still doesn't have upgraded boots. Perhaps he doesn't think it's necessary. He's got the tools he needs to survive. Definitely, but... Without the phase boots on... A lot of the time he's been chasing him down. Well, the other time where he had barely any health. Phase boots could have helped. But if you look at the movement speed of the Thero Invoker and the movement speed of the other Invoker, it's a big difference there. True, you do have the Yule Scepter for the extra speed, but FaZe has like the clip and everything, so... Oh, True. It's all very nice to have. You could also just get tanky with Power Treads as Oliver is gone. Mm-hmm. Oliver the best looks item. like he is going for his Agonims with his Point Booster. His Vitality Booster. Vitality Booster. You can't buy eggs for that. Then what could he be going? Hmm, it's a mystery. Vitality Booster. Heart. He's going heart. It, he could be going Rod of Atos. He's going heart. He could be going heart of Tarask. He could be going for a Vanguard, or perhaps even a Soul Booster to build into a Bloodstone. Or perhaps it's just a casual Vit Booster. Vit Booster. Vit Booster. Do, 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 do. By the way, say Cockerel in Cockerel. a Japanese accent. Cockerel! I'll say Cock in a Japanese accent. Cock. Cockery. It was like an entire day me and Johnny were talking. And I just kept saying cock. Because there's, there's a video of an English Denied. teacher in. I can't remember where it was. It's some. Like Asian country. Teaching English. Obviously. Oh, and saying this is cock. Yeah, it's cock. Cock. You want cock? You say, I like can cock. I have cock? Can I have cock? This is cock. Sweet, tasty cock. Cock, cock zero. Is black. Vanilla cock. Diet cock. Orchid coming out there. But nothing from. A level 15 on Invoker number one and a level yeah. 17 on Invoker number two. You don't realize. You've not, like, allocated numbers to them, it's just like, Invoker number one is... Invoker number one is the Radiant side, Invoker number two is the Dire side, and here we see Phase Boots, and an upgraded Courier! Oh, the upgraded oh, Courier. 
Oh, that sun strike missing. Oh, very much off the mark there. Here we see the phase boots. boots and still one thousand eight hundred gold. What are you talking about? You, you're oh, on the wrong invoker. What could he be going for? That is the question. Here we have the uh, sec lag coming out. Oh, 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 no, he's okay. Oh, that's a strike not quite on the mark. Yep, Securing now he can that last bit for himself. EMP with his extra movement speed. Let's see how much he can actually get. If you get to... He actually didn't secure that last hit then. Still farming while doing these spells, of course. Oh! Killing spree for Calvo, though. He's got to feel good about that. Now... Oh, back in my day, so we used to call him Killvoker, because he killed everything I had. Daniel is definitely going for his academics next, or maybe a Scardi. Oh, yeah, um, definitely a Scardi coming out here. Oh, oh, like we say, the Bloodstone is possible. Perhaps a double Bloodstone I game coming out here. In a position where you would need a Bloodstone. He's got the higher levels, he's got basically everything going for him. And no and fortification from... Tier oh, there it is. That's... The fortification coming up, but tier 2 is about to fall. And he does not have buyback for 50 more gold. Oh, that's the tower gone. That... That's the My... second tower. Can he come back from this? Perhaps it's swinging in Daniel's favour. It is off. Just over 5,000 gold and just under 3,000. Oh, wait, no. 5,000 XP, just under 3,000 gold. Incredible movement speed on Invoker at the moment. It's. The... <laughs> just. That kind of movement speed. 370 base? You've got to feel the movement speed, you know. You've got the 370 base, imagine that with triple wex. Oh, and... sun strike. oh wow, good it... sun strike. Split between the creeps, though. The creeps. Oh, Ooh, Daniel doesn't very even smart play there from Carl Volker. Very, very smart play. Nice phase booting away. With his little phase booties. Just showing off his... Yes. Right now. He has quite the phase booty. And yet Oliver is winning on last hit currently. But that could just be because of the rune control coming out from Carl Volker. Oh yeah, a lot of last hits on, on him there, but... The, the kills really making the difference here. I mean, if you look at this, three kills to zero, yeah, that's a 5,000 experience lead, 3,000 gold lead. It's incredible. Oh, and the Forge Spirit dying there. A four level lead coming out here. More like a three level, yeah, three level lead. Important. Three little lead. Yeah, three little lead. Been out here. Oh, the tornado invoked. Perhaps could be looking to invoke some something else. Tornado meatball. Could if be this, possible. If this is an Aghanim scepter, it could be bought within the next minute. Here we see the bounty room top again. It looks like just a little scouting. And we see an illusion. Is this a vanguard? I think so. I'm really pissed if this is a vanguard. It looks like a vanguard. He just needs a stout shield. A stout shield! It's a bit weird. Because the major bit oh. of damage coming from. Oh. Is he going so for it a pipe? It was just a casual vitality booster. Is this perhaps a pipe of insight coming out? Very possible. The Hood of Defiance. Hmm. Come with that with a headdress and a recipe. See, but the thing we only fourteen hundred gold. Into consideration yet is that Daniel still has not used one charge of his BKB. Fifteen hundred gold off. That. Up here comes a combo. And the Aghanim scepter. Ooh, look at that! Oh, the cold snaps. The cold snaps are real. Oh, but the the invoke cold snaps. Oh, oh. beautiful play coming and out Aghanim there. He's dominating. Scepter into Carvoka. Yes, it is an Aghanim. I'm not sure how he can come back from this. Mm. 
This will be a third tower, I'm guessing. Might there be. is no fortify for one, minute, one and a half minutes. I'm surprised there's no alacrity coming out here for, for the entire game. Perhaps on the forge for it might be helpful. Oh, here, here we see the alacrity, yes. Look at his damage. That damage is... That is a lot of damage. It's incredible push potential. <laughs> and because of the um, Hood of Defiance bot, that's no okay, possibility. Okay, this is something I'm going to call. I'm going to guess that Oliver says he let him win. Are under attack. What do you think? Likely. He's gonna be like, just because you were bitching about losing last time. Either that or he's gonna get pissed here and ask for a rematch. Which I ain't waiting around for. <laughs> Fucking rematching your own time, bitch. This is their own time, though. It's my time as well. I wanna play dotes, but yeah, I can't. But you chose to do You can play dotes. Look at those net worth. Just look at the net worth. 2,400 gold still on Carl Voker. Oh, that's an incredible amount of gold, that. Especially seeing some of his Agnum Scepter only came out a couple minutes ago. But the tower, the racks, the other tower. Mm. The kill as well. Yeah. He's got so many ways of negating damage now. He's got. He's got his Yules and his BKB. Yeah, he's got his Yules. He's got his okay. BKB. Being a bit more... Oh, there's the BKB. Oh, there's incredible BKB play coming out. Oh, nailed that perfectly. Mega that kill. Beautifully done. I didn't think he'd got the it. First charge of the BKB used. But if you looked at the way he did that, then it was incredible play there from Garvoka, because he he put down the sun strike. It looked like he was missing. And then the deafening blast got him bang in the centre. It may have been a bit regrettable that. that he was on a low ground when he started that engagement, but he couldn't really help that. Mm. It, well, it was the engagement started by the... Yeah, I understand. The, uh, it was the deafening blast that got him off, I think. By the Cat Voker. Cat Voker and Carl Voker. Level 22 on Carl Voker, only level 16. Mm. On Seru. Seru. That's a 6 level lead. More like five and a half if you look at where the actual experience bars are, but if you look at the amount of towers taken, that's going up and up and up. Four thousand gold. I think this is GG. I think he should get a Lincoln. Or a Scardy, perhaps. Scardy might be good. I reckon he goes Rapier. Oh, oh yeah, Rapier is of course the class, classy item. Yeah, you've seen the win rate on Rapier. It's amazing. Mm. Daniel isn't very scared. It's rapier. But he's got that beacon. He's being a bit cautious. Yeah, he's, he's backing off at the use of that yours, and he's coming back when he because he knows it's going to be off. Oh, and here's the, oh, and here's the victory. And the deafening blast yeah, to finish it off with that's 420 flag. Yeah, this will be it. Doesn't even need his forge for it to do his dirty work. But he's summoning them. Summon, summoning them anyway. Never mind. Look at that. Five thousand five hundred gold. So close to a rapier. I think, yeah, he's saving for rapier. <laughs> Question. Yeah. Radiant's still right. Mara Mara is being a devil fear. And the GG is called. Yeah. And now yeah. it's 1 1 in the overall Radiant's of Oliver and. Damn. And now we see spectacle there from the. Uh, what? Hello? Well, how do you like Very me now? Good. What? No, I must.